One of the biggest dreams for many parents is to witness the great day their children walk down the aisle with their true love. Family, friends and loved ones of the Salakos and Phillips gathered to celebrate the joining of two hearts as one on Sunday, the 14th of October 2018 at the residence of the Phillips in Parkview Estate, Ikoi, Lagos. The handsome-looking groom, Mulua Tunya Diemi Salako, is the son of former chairman, Federal House of Representatives Committee on Communications, Honorable Dave Salako and Mrs. Adikbeju Salako, who hail from Ikberoremo in Ogun State, Nigeria. Mulua Tunya Diemi Salako is a graduate of Business Administration from the University of Lagos. He currently works with the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. The beautiful bride is Dr. Timmy Tokpe Omokaladi Phillips, daughter of engineer Dr. Lumide and Dr. Mrs. Solitoni Phillips, who hail from Lagos State, Nigeria. Dr. Timmy Tokpe Omokaladi Phillips is a PhD holder from the prestigious University of Pennsylvania in the United States of America. She works in the petroleum sector. In attendance at a traditional wedding ceremony were Chairman Premier Loto Nigeria Limited, Chief Kersinton Adebu Kuala Adebutsu, Otsumba Adekunle Ojora and wife Irilu Ujolakwe Ojora, Senator Leko Mustafa, the chairman Coleman Wire and Cable Ashwaju Eski on Ofawoko, the Unirulu of Irulu Remo Ogun State, Oba Eski Adeiga, the chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Basil Latilo, among many other distinguished guests and well wishers. The event officially commenced with the entry of the groom who was dressed in an all-white attire alongside his friends. Formed the basic task required of him as directed by the mistress of ceremony, after which he took his seat and patiently waited for the entry of his beautiful bride. In no time, the pretty bride, Dr. Timitekwe Mokolade Phillips, made her way in. <laughs> first proceeded to pay homage to both parents who warmly received and prayed for her, after which they took pictures with her before she proceeded to join the groom. With the bride and groom already seated and ready, the opening prayer was said by Right Reverend Oluratio Dubogun, after which the couple took the Bible reading for the ceremony. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. As the church is subject to Christ, so let wives also be subject in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. 
For no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is a profound one, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. This is the word of the Lord. A brief worship and exhortation session was next, as led by the Mistress of Ceremony, after which the letter of intent was read by Miss Olayo de Badamosi, which paved the way for the presentation of the acceptance letter to the groom's family. As custom demands in Yoruba land, the bride was invited to pick an item from the numerous gift items brought by the groom's family, and as a well-mannered and cultured lady, Timutakwe picked the Holy Bible as the most valuable item to help guide her path. As she begins a new chapter in her life, the right Reverend Olurotio Dubogun shared the couple with prayers, after which the groom, Lua Tunya de Yemi Salako, was formally tied to his beautiful jewel, Timitokwe Phillips. They were prayed for afterwards. The cutting of the beautiful cake, which was made by the groom's sister, Mrs. Adiola Ogundimu, themed Tree of Life and New Beginning was supervised by Professor Kayodil Dushote. I will call the cake in spelling of love. Please join me to spell love. L O V The ceremony was brought to an end amidst the singing of a hymn. All roads later led to the event street event center, Lekki Lagos, for the reception party to celebrate the union between Temitokwe Phillips and Luatunya Diemi Salako. As charming looking guests arrived at the venue of the reception, they were serenaded with good music by the sugar band, whose 20 years on stage concert comes up on Saturday, the 20th of October 2018 at the Eco Hotel Convention Center. Other dignitaries who graced the occasion were Senator Olor Nimbe Mamura and wife, co-founder of Eco Hospitals, Olorogun Dr. Sonny Kuku, Chief Mrs. Medin Alex Zebro, Honorable Jumokyo Koya Thomas, among many others. To commit the proceedings into God's hands, Mrs. Durudola Hamid led in the opening prayer, which ushered in the couple and their friends, who gave an entertaining entry to the delight of all. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Kevin Kaka and Lua Felix and the Dance Hall. Welcome them. Welcome.
there was a special dance session. First, the mother of the groom and her friends, and then the father of the groom and his friends. Later on, the mother of the bride and her friends, and then the father of the bride and his friends, before the couple and their friends finally hit the dance floor. The ceremony ended as the DJ took guests down memory lane while dishing out some hot jams from the past. From the Chairman and CEO of Biscon Communication, Springs Basil Attila, we congratulate the Salakos and the Phillips on the success of the traditional wedding ceremony of their children, Ulua Tui Adeyemi Salako and Timitekwa Phillips, who wish the couple a blissful married life.